Brooks. Hi. It's Michelle and Lori with Life's Moves. And we're here at this gorgeous Ashley Park estate that we have a current auction. Just wanted to do a quick preview with everybody. If you have any questions, you can um, definitely ask them. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and go inside and check some of the uh, goodies out. Okay, all right, so, and now we're on. One of the things I wanted to show is when you do come for pickup, um, this estate is actually on the corner um, of the street. The driveway is is off to the side, um, but, <coughs> excuse me, there is a nice cul-de-sac, so there's plenty of room to park, and we will be bringing out... Um, all of your items for the large pickup they oh i think we have it scheduled for 2 to 6 p.m on thursday 2 to 6 p.m on thursday so if that doesn't work if anybody is interested in any of the um large items then we can go ahead and uh, possibly work with our schedule just let us know um, so we're going to go ahead and walk into the home here. One of the things that we wanted to show you is the items are located upstairs. So there will be some stairs if you have purchased any of the uh, larger furniture pieces in this auction. And um, the first thing that we see at the top of the stairs is this gorgeous Hoosier cabinet. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces. There's Lori. Hello. Um, it is, it is absolutely amazing. So it's got the opening. Let's see here. Over, over, trying. You gotta be smart enough. So it's got the little cabinet, super cute, um, decorated on each side. We've got the flower. Let's see. You have to know how to open these. Um, yeah, so you've got your little flower sifter. You've got little shelves. These are so cute on each side. And then down below, it opens up to a large cabinet with some pull-out shelves. There's shelves on the door as well. And then you've got your metal drawers on the sides. Center has a nice big divided drawer. So, for all you bakers out there <laughs> or antique lovers, this is a beautiful piece. I'm gonna try to close it correctly. Okay. All right, so that's one of our first items. Hi, Rhonda. Oh, hey, Rhonda. Mm -hmm. Welcome to our to our first showing here. <laughs> um, another thing we have is this great uh, Kuchina. It's a Walda mm -hmm. Mutska uh, original. It was painted in around 1930 in Taos, New Mexico. Yeah, so very, very nice. Um, we have a local favorite, the Scout. It is a limited edition, and I'm not sure if I can zoom in on that or not. Um, yeah, it looks like 80 out of 230. Mm -hmm. Jane Forkies. And um, yeah, Jane Forkies, this artist. Um, another piece of art we have here, Lori can tell you about. Um, it's titled Love. It's an artist proof, and it's also by Jane Forkies, and both are signed in pencil by the artist. All right. Okay, um, so we can come in here. As you see, there are a lot of things in here that are going to be coming up. Um, one really nice piece is this display cabinet we have up here. Solid wood, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it does have a lot of the collectible cars in it currently. So you can see it can hold a lot of good stuff. Um, 
but the the piece is just beautiful. Up above it, you can see we've got some of our uh, military. What is? That's the Marine Corps. It, it's a Vietnam era uh, Marine Corps uniform All right. cap, and then some of the pins. Some of the pins. And then we have our famous Mickey. He's in excellent condition. He's what? What is he? Circa nineteen. He's um forties or fifties. Forties or fifties. And there's the tag. He still has his little. Oh, he still has his tag. original tag. Big smile on his face. Um. Another one of our, our beautiful stereo cabinets. We seem to be coming across these a lot lately. Um, the owner said that it was working just a couple years ago, but it hasn't worked since. She's not sure what's wrong with it, but it has all the original parts. Um, and you could see those in the actual pictures from the auction. Um, we've got a nice, looks literally almost new. And we put the back on, so it's kind of cattywampus there. But a nice um, lift chair recliner. If you know anybody that needs one, you can get it for a great price on auction. So that's available. Um, we've got a really cool old-fashioned meter there. That's, that's a pretty cool piece. And then we've got this gorgeous Minnesota antique sewing machine table. So this pretty thing right here, I don't know, you know what, the window's open, so it's kind of catching a glare, and I'm afraid to turn my phone again. Let's okay. see. Um, yeah, there's, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment. I know absolutely nothing about sewing, but I can admire, admire this antique piece. Um, I believe everything is there. She said everything is there. The drawers um, actually lock. and the, I'm not sure where the key is. I think the key is in one of these drawers somewhere. The lower portion is just immaculate. She's taken such great care of everything that she has in this home. Um, there's a lot of extra attachments that come with it, with the original box. Cute. Whether you're going to be interested for display or actually using it, you've got, you've got all these little pieces in here. And again, this just folds right up. to close. So it's a beautiful piece. Um, I'm just going to give you a little sneak real quick. We have this gorgeous Windsor Castle um, antique stove oven. It is so, so neat. So that's going to be coming up very soon. Um, we've got uh, old antique register back here. And let's see if we can get around it. I can't can't really get around it where it's at. Um, but you can see it's really, really nice shape as well. We've got the Hughes Flying Boat. This is very, very big. I, I think that in the auction it didn't look that big. Hey, Kendall. Kendall's on. Hi, Kendall. Um, yeah, so Lori, you want to talk about this? Um, this is an engineering poster of Howard Hughes Spruce Goose um, flying boat. So it's a very cool piece, and it's fully framed. Um, very neat. Yeah. And then to the left, there is a triptych. It's a Joe Millich. He was an aviation artist, and it, they're all individually uh, double-matted, and it's a triptych in one frame. Very nice. And then over here... These are just actually snapshots. They're really, really neat. They're from Vietnam era uh, and they've been framed. So that kind of all goes together. And then right here we have um, a Marine platoon picture. It's also from the Vietnam era. All right, above that we have uh, another really nice display cabinet. So as you can see, they liked their stuff in here. Um, this is just housing, holding. 
some of the uh, collectible cars that we have on the auction. So anybody out there likes cars, let them know. We've got some great ones. Um, let's see. We also have this really cool Burroughs adding machine. Um, you know, I'm excited to find a little more um, out about it. I don't know that much about it, but it seems to be a pretty good hit so far. So uh, if you know anything, please feel free to share. And hey, Lindsay, nice to see you on here. Um, we also have this very cool Plano Tricks um, transistor battery recorder, and it literally looks like it was never taken out of the box. Like the carrying case alone is super snazzy. Um, the piece, I don't know. Let's see how easy it is to open with one hand. Not so easy. If I could get my assistant to help. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Um, but check it out. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you want to record yourself. Lindsay, maybe if the kiddos want to play a little bit with this recorder. Record each other. <laughs> Um, let's see. We also have some very cool, very sturdy cabinet or shelving units up here. Really nice. Um, the shadow box picture is actually very cool. Let's see how close I can get to it. So it's an old photo of a filling station with some little pieces um, placed in it. So anybody that's, you know, into cars may like this. And it's a good, good size shadow box. As you can see, it's not, it's not little. It's actually very cool. Uh, let's see. Well, hello there, Larry and Skip. Nice of you Hi. to join us. <laughs> um, then we've got, let's see here. We've uh, also got these really cool photos as well. This, this one on the top says, okay, used cars. And it has a bunch of uh, old cars. It's a really, it's actually quite bigger than it appears. So I'm going to see if I back up, if you can tell how big it is. But um, they're both very good size. And this one, I don't know. I just think it's cool. Like, who names their shop OK Used Cars? Maybe it's for Oklahoma, but I think the OK was pretty cute. Um, what else do we have here? We have this really cool old uh, Main Street picture here. Michigan, US 31. So anybody... Anybody from Michigan that might want to stroll back home? Something to something to look at. Um, we also have uh, some photos up here. This this top one is uh, these are actually advertisements, um, and I believe one of these is signed by the artist. Let's see here. Is it the Hudmobile? Um, Hmm. I don't know. We have, we have, uh, information on it in the auction, but, um, a couple really cool old advertisements that have been matted framed. The frames are, the frames are gorgeous on all of this artwork in this house. So, all right, we're going to move on into, uh, right here. oh, we're, we're back at the so these, Hi, let's see. Go these ahead. are two um, black and white photographs by Floyd Peterson. They're both double matted and professionally framed. And Floyd Peterson was a um, photographer that studied under Ansel Adams, and that became his area of expertise. So that's just kind of a neat little. Tidbit. Yeah, they they actually look very similar to Adel, or Ansel Adams' um, photographs. So very pretty. And. Down here we have a painting by Ruth Bitters. It appears to be original, but I can't guarantee that. It, it's it's very neat. It's a beautiful picture of a farm scene. Oh, a farm. 
People in Kansas loves farms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna move into a bedroom. One of the bedrooms now, we've have uh, something that's actually, this piece is absolutely gorgeous and, and it's Lori's favorite piece. Um, this is a chest of drawers. I'm, you know, I'm not sure the age of it, honestly, but it's got just great detail. It's got this ornate um, woodwork on the corners. It's got clawed feet on all four of the feet. I think that's brass too. Brass tip. All right. Um, beautiful, beautiful condition. The drawers. Let's see here. Let me pull one of these drawers open for you to see. I'm afraid to flip my phone because I didn't like it a minute ago when I tried. Um, but the drawers are actually divided, a couple of them, which is really cool. The top is protected. Yeah, the top has been protected by glass. And actually, you'll see in uh, all the dressers in this home, that has been the case. But it's... Oh, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely. Um, we also have this nice corner cabinet here. Um, I I should add as well that all of these all of these pieces that I'm showing you, we have not found um, any maker's mark. So not sure, not sure who they were made by, but beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. And I mean they have lasted. They were built to last, just gorgeous well pieces, and very, very well taken care of. This home has been very loved, so just to give you an idea, but the shelves on the bottom or the bottom cabinet opens. Very nice. And my color is a little off, it looks like, on this video. Um, it's more of like a, of a red tone redwood versus the color that I'm seeing. So I'm not sure, not sure what it is that's changing that. If you can tell if you're seeing it on your end or not. Um, we've got this cute little child's pink wicker rocker. Anybody that knows a little girl that needs a, needs a little pink rocker. We've got one there. Um, another nice antique chair. And then another very, very nice dresser. This has not got that much attention. So right now, um, you can get it for literally a steal. But it's beautiful. It is in perfect condition. Um, you know, that everything on it is just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So I'm really surprised. Oh, they're all full. It appears that we have not emptied this dresser yet, but definitely, definitely take a peek. If you are looking for a dresser, this is, this is a gorgeous, sturdy piece. So, oh, I think Lori hid because she was in the door. She knew I was scrolling by the mirror. Um, we've also got two twin beds, really nice, old, Antique, vintage, twin beds. They've got the headboards, the footboards, the caster wheels, the brass caster wheels on all four legs, sideboards. Um, oh, this, this bed doesn't have a sideboard, so just one bed has the sideboards. But the, the mattresses and... Um, box springs are included and we strip the beds. They are like in perfect condition. Very clean. Very, very clean. Don't see any issues. Um, we've got a cute, uh, side table here. Looks like it, uh, might be mahogany. It's beautiful. Has a little drawer. Good little, good little table, pretty table. And then this lamp is amazing. It 
literally looks brand new as well. It, the lampshade, as you can see, is in perfect condition because it has been kept underneath the plastic. Everybody remember those. Um, but the lamp is very cool, very pretty. It's like a, a white marble, white looking stone, and it's got the brass golden accents on it. It's, it's actually very, very pretty, very pretty. And let's see, where's it at? It has the original price tag on it for $137.95. <laughs> so, and I don't think she bought it anytime recently. So you know it was it's it's good quality. Everything in here is just gorgeous. Um, we've got this secretary, antique secretary desk. Um, very very pretty as well. It's got great details to it. Three lower drawers, the original hardware. Very pretty. Very nice, um, and it's petite. It's a nice petite size. So if you need some place um, that you want to maybe work with your laptop, but you don't want a big desk, this is a beautiful piece. So let's see. What else? You want to tell me about these gentlemen, Lori? Sure. They're just um, some antique convex glass uh, portraits, and they're both in pristine condition. The other one is of a military. I'm not sure what era of military that is, um, but the frames are just beautiful and in excellent condition. Yeah. They kind of follow you wherever you go. Oh, nice. <laughs> They're following us right now. Um, okay, so there's a lot going on in this room. <laughs> um, we've got our little side shelf. And as you can see, everything in this is not coming with it. But these will be up for grabs really soon. And there are some really pretty antique and, and vintage, um, both late women's and men's pieces. Really cool. Um, one of those great uh, wall racks for hats or coats. Really neat. So we've got the good old vintage uh, brass look and then also the um, bended wood. We have another uh, dresser with, of course, the glass top. Oh, to keep it nice and safe from all the nicks and scratches. Um, beautiful detail. Again, just great pieces. This is such a beautiful home. She's got just, I don't know how she took care of everything in this home. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't do it. Um, we have another coat rack there, hat rack, umbrella rack. It is meant wood as well. It is antique. Got one of the marble um, side tables. We have one side table and coffee table in this sale, and then we came across another one in the house. So it'll be listed um, in our next next auction for this estate. So there is another one exactly like this one that'll be coming up. Really cool chair. Beautiful. Again, the detail on everything in this house. Great. Bench. Stool. Here's the coffee table with the marble top and the little lower shelf. It does have a few little scratches here and there that can be touched up very easily, but it's got the white and gray marble. 
Nice armchair. Um, and then an old um, porcelain lamp. It's actually very, very pretty. And, you know, apparently mauve is coming back. So those pastels are going to be going to be cool again. Or maybe they are. I'm a little slow, a little late to the game. Um, all of these little goodies. I'm just going to give you a sneak peek again while I'm in here. Um, these pretty things are going to be coming really soon. We have a lot of beautiful um, little pieces of jewelry from this estate. So another, another jewelry sale. We've got oh, the Crocs. These Crocs have uh, been a hit. A lot of people, a lot of people collect them. This is a number five Croc, does have the handles. Um, absolutely, I'm sorry, I'm not even showing you. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's in great condition, excellent condition. Patented December 1st, what does this say? Or December 21st, 1915. So it is, it is in great shape. And then there's another one over here. It's number three, Red Wing. Also in excellent condition. And this gigantic um, milk jug or liquid transporter. I, I found all kinds of things online when I was checking it out. So it's very, very heavy. It is not like your normal milk jug that you see people throwing flowers in outside on their doorstep. It is very, very heavy. It does have the lid, which I'm not going to take off apparently while I'm showing you. Um, but it's, it's very nice, very, very nice, very old, very big, very heavy. Did you get that picture over the No, I didn't. I don't know about this art. Um, we have another, another piece of art here. Uh, this is a Vernon Wooten print. Um, it's double matted and professionally framed. It's beautiful. It's in pristine Yeah, we condition. kind of have a glare with the light up there, but it is very nice. Very pretty. We've got a three-tier um, table down here. Beautiful glass lamp. Some uh, walking sticks and canes. Umbrellas. And a vintage umbrella basket. And let's see. I know Lori had a couple quilts that she sat sat back out here. So we've got um, this pretty bright yellow. Excellent fan. condition. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what that pattern is, but it is beautiful. It's got the scalloped edge. Um, a lot of the details are in the listing with, as far as the sizing goes. All right, so you can find any details you need in the listing. Fun. Thank you. And then, you know, everybody has to know a little cowboy. Hey, Brian. Thanks for joining. Um, so this quilt, what do we, what do we know about this quilt? I don't know much about it. I don't know what the age is, but it looks fairly old. Um, it's just in excellent condition. It's very cute. I have yeah. a hard time finding one like it. So. Brian, maybe this would look great on your bed. <laughs> um got a smaller kind of looks like a crib quilt and all of these quilts are are handmade i believe from I believe so. by the owner so i'm not sure if all of them are but and we have a lot more coming oh yeah we have we have several several quilts and then there's this one. I think this one looks older to me as well. I think it's called Cherry Basket Pattern. I'm not positive, but it is beautiful. And all of them are in excellent condition. Any any imperfections that we notice are in the listing. Okay. So we are going to go upstairs. 
Oh, there's a couple more, couple more uh, pieces of art here. So we've got a cool old uh, Woodward's Pure Sugar Stick Candy um, advertisement that has been framed. And then, let's see, can you tell us about this? We have a vintage um, framed needlepoint um, saying that says, the blessings of the house is contentment. It's in beautiful condition. It's under glass, so it's been well protected. And then we also have a Norman Rockwell down here. Oh yeah, there's, oh, dog for sale print. It's a print, um, one of the Norman Rockwells. All right, 1958, so, okay, so I'm going to take you up here, show off this uh, cool, oh, few cool pieces we have. Um, first thing, we have this great nautical style spindle side table, super cool. Um, as cool as is, you could leave the top because the wood is gorgeous. It's almost like a natural finish. It's very, very pretty. And maybe paint the bottom. Sand it down a little bit. Lots of things you can do with it. Um, we have this giant, giant um, vintage sofa, couch, uh, great condition. There is some fading um, on a couple of the cushions. So she just had them flipped and you couldn't see it, but I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget to mention those. So there is some fraying on the back and then some fading on a couple of the cushions. Um, but again, she had it flipped. You could not even tell when it was sitting up here, but I think this is you know, plenty big enough for entertaining. I don't have my paper in front of me to tell me what the exact measurements are, but it's it's big. It's a big one. Um, we've got this really nice corner cabinet, corner table. It's two-tiered. Nice little decanter set down there. If anybody wants a cocktail. Uh, we've got this beautiful antique desk. Things on the top are not sold with it, but this desk is really pretty. Beautiful wood. Um, then to go with the uh, cool vintage couch, we've got a matching coffee table that is equally as big Great for entertaining. It has the same um, trim on the wood as the couch. It's got two pedestals on the bottom. And then it's got a stone center. And that stone does come off if you, you know, Thought it wasn't your thing, but it kind of goes with the cool vibe. Got a nice cushy, comfy, sink in, anytime chair. I think it'd be great for a little reading nook. And then we've got a couple matching um, occasional chairs here. They're armchairs. They're in excellent condition. And again, they have the same trim that the couch and the coffee table do. And I'm sorry, I don't have my list in front of me, so I can't tell you exactly um, who the maker is. But very, very good condition, like excellent condition. I don't know if these have been reupholstered, maybe, but they're... Perfect. And then I am down on the bottom of this table, but um, this side table here 
is drop dead gorgeous. The top of it is just pressed wood that somebody has um, placed on it. We believe this used to be a lamp that was taken um, possibly out of an uh, out of an old hotel. This is what the owner said, and there is a little switch there, so that would that would kind of lead you to believe it was a lamp. But the stone is gorgeous. You could put any kind of top on it you wanted. It's got like beautiful jade, greens, golds, reds. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay, so what other goodies can I show you in here? Uh, we have our vintage RCA Victor, Victorola. Very cool little uh, record player. Folds right up, has a handle if you want to carry it. You know, take it from one friend's to the next. Um, we have uh, a couple sessions clocks. They are uh, electric, they are corded. So this is a beautiful nautical scene. Would go great with that nautical style spindle table over there. We have an awesome antique uh, candy machine, gumball machine, one cent. It's great. It is not tested. We have not tested it. It has just been sitting, sitting around being admired. It does, it is missing or not missing, but this, um, the little open slot here is not attached. So we, we have not messed with it to reattach it, but it looks, it appears that it is literally all here, but very cool. Very cool. Oh, it also has the key. I don't want to forget that. So if you wanted to fill it, you may do so. Um, we have a nice Seth Thomas right here. And then again, some really, really cool uh, car lovers. Uh, if you can't tell, they love their cars. Um, so this is an old advertisement, I believe from, let's see, Better Homes, is it Better Homes and Gardens, 1949. So it has been framed nicely. Again, great, great frames here. Um, but the new 1950 Studebaker. So the um, owners of this estate uh, had a 1950 Studebaker. So that was their thing. So there's several different things for the Studebaker Club. What is it? Studebaker Car. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Some Studebaker Car Club. So, um, yeah, you'll be seeing seeing more cars coming up if you're interested. So I think this picture is really cool. It isn't getting much attention right now, but I will say I think it's very cool. I'm not sure if it's been in an accident or if the nose is supposed to look like that. So maybe Larry can let me know. Not quite sure. Kind of looks smushed. The lady doesn't look very happy either. That's probably the look I would give, but it's, it's actually a cool picture. Um, and then the last one I think I'm going to show you up here is, uh, this, Really nice artwork, nice piece of art. Hey, Christy. Um, and this is a limited edition. It's got the information um, on the back. It's an official sterling silver etching depicting the 1910 Oldsmobile touring car. So it is a limited edition from the Society of Automotive Historians. So again, car lovers, 
there's there's a lot of uh, really cool pieces here. Really, really interesting. They loved their stuff. They have loved life and done a great job of uh, keeping it. All those things they love are everywhere here. So, okay, I think we're about finished. Um, the last thing is actually our showstopper. So this has been the biggest, the most popular piece or items in our auction. And it's all of these great pennants. So you want to tell us a little bit about them, Lori? Oh, they're definitely vintage. Um, they are appear to be a felt um, pennant flag. And this is really cool. It's I think it's 12. Okay, so is this one lot right here this on this one lot bed? Of all um, baseball teams. Some some of them are not currently obviously teams anymore. All right, so we've got Kansas City Athletics, Chicago Cubs, Cleveland Indians, Red Sox, Yankees, Cardinals, Giants. Uh, we're covering a lot here. And they're all in pretty good condition. They did, in storage, get, you can see, a little bent on the tips, but I'm sure that could be flattened out with some help. And this one does have a clip on the tip and a little bit of discoloration right here. And then the only other one that I see that's really shows any significant thing that is noticeable is just on the Pittsburgh Pirates. A little bit of the felt has worn away, but they're very cool. Yeah. This would be great for any sports lover. Great for sports lovers. So we've got things for the cars, car lovers, things for antique lovers, sports lovers. And this is the one that's for the travelers. This is all vintage um, felt flag pennant souvenirs from just different locations throughout. I think most of it's all U.S. But um, really cool. Really fun. Oh, Manitou Springs for our Colorado peeps out there watching. There's one Canada. There's a Canada. Hmm? All right. And then we have our dueling schools. Okay, and then <laughs> KUK State. Together. Together. <laughs> and as far as condition, there's a little hole right here. Um, um, can you show us that again? Sure little hole right here okay and a little it looks like there might be a few just from age and over time this one has got more let's put it on the mirror you can kind of see but it's still solid and it is made by collegiate of Ames wool and cotton wool and cotton but those have been very the, some of the most popular items in this auction so far so. Yeah, the pennants are doing amazing. All right. So I think that's going to close it up for now. Does anybody have any questions? Is there something we didn't show that you would like to see? Anybody? Anybody? Any questions? <laughs> Anything you want us to go over? Okay. All right, then. Well, thank you so much for watching our first facebook live yeah thanks for better. joining yeah we'll get we'll get better with time you know we get better with age we'll get better with time um but again thanks a lot we hope you uh saw something you might uh have fallen in love with go check out the auction if you haven't yet oh, it's life smooths dot equip bid dot equip bid dot biz b-i-z <laughs> biz. B -I -Z. that'll have um all of our current auctions up and previous auctions to view. So thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.